All right, water signs, you are up. Got to stretch. Yeah, now I'm getting the idea to do meditation out here. Mm -hmm. Give you a small view. I know uh, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, they got a decent view, right? <laughs> so I'm doing readings out here for the first time, and the camera ends up falling, and it's wind blowing all over the place. But yeah. So you kind of get to see where I'm at, right? The wall or the museum, actually. But, you know, the wall. <laughs> and this is my view as of right now. But yeah, coming into the video or coming to the video, liking the video, subscribing to the channel at the point that these messages resonate for you, right? If nothing resonates for you, try um, other water sign readings on the channel, right? There is a dedicated playlist to... Um, each sign, Pisces, um, Cancer, and Scorpio. Be a little breath of fresh air. I wanted to change up a little bit so that I could project and you guys can hear me better. So hopefully this helps. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I may, I may need to be the one uh, exception of uh, people that in, in the library that get to talk extra loud. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's the love messages for our water signs today. I know there's always love messages for water signs, right? The, the emotional guys, the emotional gals. What's the message for a Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio today in regards to love? They're dressed like twins, but they're possibly just best friends, bars. They're dressed just alike, and this is the subtlety you can tell in, in people's personality. Both of them are wearing tight-ass jeans, Caucasian women, right? Um, and black long sleeve shirts. One of them is wearing slippers, and the other one is wearing boots. <laughs> yeah. Messages for our water sign. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the readings for today. I uploaded uh, some messages from earlier this morning, or a message earlier this morning. It was a collective message, and today I just decided to do um, not necessarily each zodiac, but um, you know, the collective elements. You know, uh, take the messages as they resonate. If you have um, Big three or your uh, major aspects in any other uh, sign. Go ahead and watch those readings. You may be able to get some additional clarification in regards to love, right? Man, I want to go to the gym. Random. Right. Let's get into it. Love messages for our water signs. Grounding your message to be. We have the Queen of Wands. People are going to be like, I can't see. The screen is shaking too much. Is there an earthquake going on there? So, we could have a youthful curiosity, possibly a young content creator. It's definitely giving off a lot of action, a lot of movement. So, I'm not sure if this is like an amateur trainer or something like that, or an amateur athlete, an amateur creative. Or again, sexual curiosity. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune. The first card out. Hmm. Wish fulfillment. Huh? This is a lucky moment. This could be Pandora's box for some. But it's the Wheel of Fate and Destiny here. Karma. So this could be a jackpot coming towards you. It could be financial. Or with these being love messages, this could be... Um, jackpot in love with fulfillment right getting your heart's desire right it is my wedding ring card next we have the six of pentacles yeah so this will be balance equal give and take whatever you put energy into it comes back to you right kindness right patronage so yeah you could be receiving, receiving some sort of a payback either from the universe or this person maybe you've helped someone out in the past and now you're receiving your karma now the lover, this could be the lover that's coming towards you and they want to uh, show you how much they um, value you here. 
the Page of Swords. It could be a youthful air sign. Um, this could also be um, maybe, maybe a student here. Mm. Okay. This person may be spying on you too. The Tower card, yes, yeah, an investigation. Anytime I see the Page of Swords with a uh, Scorpio Major Arcana, with Scorpios being, um, if not the most secretive sign of the Zodiac, right? Deeply esoteric and occultic, right? I know that this is an investigation. Now, it does not mean that it has to be something nefarious. It's that someone's really looking into your energies here. They may even go so far as to try to figure out your birth chart, right? What's this person's birthday, right? <laughs> like, a lot of astrologers do that, right? This is the type of conversations that we have when we, when we meet people for the first time, right? What's your birthday? Or we just know random shit like, oh, that celebrity, what's their birthday? Oh, Nicole Kidman's and she's a freaking Leo. Like, we know shit like that. <laughs> So, yeah, we have someone investigating you. They could very well be a Scorpio. Unique friendships. Five of Cups, grief, a change up in the emotions. It could be sadness or just a change up in the emotions. Uh, for, okay, so I didn't want to say anything. I'm getting that Keisha Cole, Sean Paul, give it up to me. So someone likes you to the point that they want to uh, sleep with you so they're investigating you now this could also be um getting tested right making sure that you're safe to have uh you, i'm gonna say to have protective sex right um so yeah the person that's coming to oh this is an orgasm shit is this protected sex? <laughs> this may be an unexpected pregnancy, or is it? Dealing with a Scorpio? I don't know. But yeah, you actually showed up in your reading here in the Tower card. So, it shows me that you're being intentional about something. Let's go to the second row, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a change. This is health. Both of these are two health cards for me. Yeah, so this, the person that's coming towards you, they, they want you to get tested. They want to know, they, first of all, they want to know all your business, but they definitely want to know your sexual status, right? They want to, they want to know whether you're, you're straight or uh, hetero. They want to know um, if you've had any uh, STDs or STIs, right? I mean, hey, this is what you, this person wants you to know, right? So I'm not sure if you know this person or not, but they're definitely watching you like a hawk or investigating you like a hawk or like an investigator, right? The Six of Wands. Yeah, they wanted to bring this victorious moment to you, this passion to you. They put you on the pedestal here. It comes out on top of the Six. Yeah, they wanted to reciprocate. It's almost like they want to go all out and not hold back because they really want this orgasm here, this Wheel of Fortune and this Tower card. I know it's weird and you're probably like, what the hell is this dude talking about? But this is literally what I'm seeing in the cards here. And this is a love reading, so is it that far off? Now, hopefully this isn't... Um, not like a pimp or something like that or someone that pays for sex Ooh, the wheel of fortune is coming off as an app to me mm. where is the true love connection here the two of cups speak and it should pop up right now again this could be matching with someone on the app it comes out on top of the page of swords so yeah this person they want a relationship with you or at least they want to they want a friendship with you they want to get to know you right so this may take some time. We're about to clarify time, the Wheel of Fortune, the jackpot. Yeah, they may even see marriage down. They want to cuff you. So I'm not going to say it's marriage, but they want to make it official, the chariot. So this is nurturing energy here. They want to make someone a mother here. Mm. Travel. Someone could be getting flowed in, right? Flewed in. I mean, hey. Um, it is what it is, man. This person... The, per the lover, <laughs> the person that's spying on you, watching you, investigating you, they want to know. They want to know you, man. Okay, we could even, this could even be a celebrity here. They want to know what's up, right? They want to cross all their T's, dot all their I's, cover all their bases. Page of Cups, yeah, a strong crush. Five of Cups. Loyalty. 
black chick. She tried so hard not to walk over in this direction. <laughs> the devil. Temptation. Ooh, ooh. This could be a Capricorn. What this person possibly has Earth somewhere in their chart. But they're obsessed, man. They're obsessed. Damn, could I give an example? Because I'm just channeling off the cuff here, but and I'm thinking. Now I mean there may not be anything wrong with this person. Like people, people, they don't want to be judged, right? So if this is you feeling like you don't want to be judged because this person's spying on you, looking up your social media is possibly investigating you. Damn there, right? Women do it all the time, right? We used to have that even before the internet. It was like women took up for women all across the world and talked about men. Do you know about this guy? Yeah, all right. Who is this guy? Yeah, so don't act like women are the ones that usually watch tarot. So I'm the north. I probably got a lot of women uh, subscribers and women watchers here. So don't act like it's anything weird, right? Because if you like someone, even if that man told you he don't like you, you be damn near hard pressed to make this man like you for no reason. <laughs> well, not for no reason, because the reason is you want him to like you. High Priestess, uh, spiritual awakening here. Mm. Deeply spiritual here. Comes out after the devil. Mm. We already have the tower and the wheel of fortune. So is this magic or spell work? Might as well be here. I mean, shit. This could be a secret obsession or a secret crush or something like that. The Knight of Wands, there goes the sex again. They they want this sex, man. This person that's coming towards you, they have a sexual chip on their shoulder. Now, I'm gonna take your side here because this is how I feel about it. If someone's doing this much they had better have been abstinent, right? They had better not been having sex, right? Like, I've had so many women hit on me this year. That, thank God the year's almost over. So I've had so many women hit on me. But then I looked at the dudes that they've dated in the past. And I'm like, I, I wouldn't touch you with a 10th of pole. And don't speak to me until you at least detox for a month, right? So it's like, now that's what I would agree upon in that, in that particular situation, right? It's like... You were probably thinking of the audacity that this person has to be worried about me or trying to be all up in my business, trying to figure out my status. This person better be fucking God's gift. So I would agree with you on that. Let's clarify this chariot and wheel of fortune. Eight of cups. Yeah, detoxing. Yeah. They had better better been detoxing or this person may be walking away from... Um, they may have been with someone that was overbearing or a toxic individual, someone karmic. It also reminds me of someone that likes to have uh, drunken sex. We're dealing with an alcoholic here. Well, this is water signs, right? Should I give you a whole spill or a joke about Jesus? No, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> that dude must have been wasted all the time. He got. <laughs> we do communion in church, and we're like, "Oh, this is the blood of Jesus," and it's straight up cranberry juice and wine. Right, and they say he turned water into wine. Well, how did he get so many people to fall in love with him? Right, he was the life of the party. He preaches agape love, right, which means he must have been like he would have been the, the, the perfect guy to uh, what is it with the Woodstock era? <laughs> you know what? You, you know what comes to mind? John Lennon. <laughs> is Jesus John? Was John Lennon like a version of Jesus Christ? We can't even, we can't even, like, look at this. The Queen of Wands is the last card for you for you water signs. The Queen of Wands on top of the Page of Cups and Five of Cups. So, yeah. And remember, the first card to come up was the Tower card. So this is extreme attraction, extreme sexuality, extreme obsession here. Now, someone's deeply creative as well. Yeah, someone's extremely creative. This could be like a social media influencer or someone that's good with, you know, social media. I was getting TikTok earlier or uh, apps earlier. Now, I do have to do a break deck message for you guys, so let me stop BSing.
Ooh. I mean, <laughs> women always be like, oh, I want my dude to be messed up about me. Yeah, until you get that dude that's really crazy in the head about you, right? He shows up to places that you didn't expect. And he's like, what you doing, right? <laughs> Just like everyone wants a cool, calm, and laid back guy until they act like all of a sudden this guy's boring, right? Just like how all these dudes act like they want a freaky chick until he brings her out in the open and she's still acting like a freak instead of being the freak in the sheets. <laughs> yeah, she's on 10 all the time. You can't even take her to a restaurant because she's going to start twerking on top of tables. Now for water sign energy, we have uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio out. Yeah, so all you guys showed up in, your, in this reading today. So you could be dealing with someone extremely intuitive, deeply empathic, right? They're possibly a strong energy reader, a psychic here. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is my crystal ball, right? They're a hard worker, though, but they're extremely obsessive. So it's giving off work hard, play hard type vibes. It's giving off if I'm to, if I'm gonna fall in love, I'm gonna fall deeply into fall deeply in love, Scorpio type energy. It's giving. Giving a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right. I even look at the cards at the bottom of the deck. Let me do that now. Page of Wands, Three of Swords. Yeah. Mm, can't leave them alone type energy. Sierra in 50 Cent. And then the King of Cups. So, yeah. Uh, this could be a hint of love bombing here. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a woman, and I'm speaking from a perspective of, of a man. This could be, oh, I got enlightened from one of my, um, I'm going to call her my teacher for this purpose because I ain't going to name drop. Um, she told me that there's a lot of women that are insecure, uh, even when they're inside of a relationship, right? Something to the extent that they fear that they're going to get... Um, I know that women don't like to waste their time, but it's something about the fear because they feel like they're giving their youth away, right? Um, it's almost something to the extent of um, they don't want to be friend-zoned, right? It's like women... And that's the thing. like They walk around friend-zoning men all the time, but they don't want to be friend-zoned. So they're projecting, right? It's almost like a person that knows that they're about to get broken up with, so they try to break up with somebody first, Right? Uh, so my original thought on this is like this would be like a woman or a man but I'm speaking as a man about women and what I know about relationships and being in relationships with women right even in beautiful women this would be like a woman that's a 10 being with a woman that's a 10 and she's like she's super attractive she's super sexy but she lacks confidence even within a relationship right which is a major turn off <laughs> it's a major turn off She's like, um, goes through your phone. She doesn't think that, oh, I can leave this relationship and have any other guy I want because she's insecure that she'll never find another relationship ever again, that every guy's going to friend zone her. In some cases, they just look at her as like a sex object. So when someone genuinely falls for her, she doesn't know how to accept it. Okay, that's it. Okay. It's like, you can get superficial love anywhere. But when you got genuine love, right, that's when it really matters. So, yeah, it reminds me of a beautiful woman. Again, a, a 100 out of 10. And in relationships, she's, like, super insecure, right? Anyways, on to the next. There's more to talk about here. Let's see. There may be children involved in this situation, or this person wants to have children with you. So I'm not sure if you're already in a relationship, or if this is someone that's headed towards you. Maybe they have kids. With all this extreme sex that they want to have with you, vetting you out and all this type of stuff. Like, again, like, I was in a relationship, and I had a woman, another Libra, that I wanted to be friends with genuinely. I wanted to be friends with her. Like, I love Libras. And she asked me one day, she's like, do you ever see yourself out of your relationship? Do you ever see yourself getting married? Do you ever see yourself having more children? And I'm like, why are you asking me this stuff? Like, <laughs> And she had already had children. 
she, I wouldn't say she was fresh out of a relationship, but yeah, like that's the type of stuff that, um, that they think about, right? Um, I just think that, um, again, with women, they, they, they look faith fast, right? And they don't like to waste their time to the point that they would even go back on old relationships to try to rebuild something that's broken because they don't want that time to be wasted, right? This is why they still have sex with, like, their baby's fathers, or this is why they continue to date the same type of men over and over and over and over, even if they despise going back to the dude uh, that they had uh, um, the previous relationship with. They would try um, that same type of dude, right? Men don't do that. I wanted, I recorded this video earlier. It was, it was about a 60-second video, and you could tell this lady was so out of place, right? And I was almost embarrassed, but I was, like, so far away from her that I didn't care. Um, it was a black chick, right? We're literally in the middle of downtown business area. Literally, I'm across the street from the courthouse, right? There's nothing but law offices, courtrooms, businesses, high-rises everywhere. This lady had a tube top. She had her children with her, too. This lady had a tube top on. And she was pretty much half-naked with this tight-ass short skirt on. <laughs> and I'm like... You are sticking out like a sore thumb right now. And black women are some of the most beautiful women in the world. But it's like, there's a time and there's a place. Know your place. Right? When men get sick of a certain flavor, right? This is why we have passport bros. Because it's like, yeah, now I need to date someone from outside of my culture. Maybe I need to date someone different, right? It's just easier for men to, to have a variety of women or to try something new. We're adventurers, right? It's masculine energy. We're conquerors versus women that will continually, if they're delusional or not, they'll keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Unless you're dealing with an intelligent woman, right? I like intelligent women. <laughs> so to finish off what we have here, look at all these pages. Yeah, you know, this person possibly has children. We got a page of cups, a page of swords, and a page of wands. Loyalty, education, and invention. Yeah. There's a lot of immaturity here. Or this person that's coming towards you, they deal with a lot of children. I don't know if they're a teacher or something like that, a Boy Scout attendant, or they're in like the child services industry, or whatever the case may be. We have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So they could be a content creator or something like that. I'm not sure if they're like a godparent or step parent. Let's take a look at the numerology really quick before we close out the reading. We got two, three. Okay. So yeah, they definitely wanted to develop a friendship with you, most likely a relationship with you if they've been vetting you this hard, three of swords. They're just afraid to waste their time or they're afraid to be cheated on. They possibly, again, have uh, memories of, of bad. They, they probably have bad relationship experiences. Five of Cups. And, yeah, they're looking for something brand new. It reminds me of that Drake song, Brand New. Five of Cups and Five of Pentacles. They may have some sort of a health issue. Or they may be... Um, finances. What's going on with the finances? They're, they're possibly insecure about their finances. We have the Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. Maybe they feel like it's never enough. Mm, yeah. And then the Eight of Cups. You know what? You can always have enough. Listen, and this is not just for black women, right? Because the media made women believe that they're not beautiful, right? You would definitely, most likely, have enough. How do you think I do what I do? What, what I'm able to do, right? You can have enough money. I don't have a fresh haircut, right? <laughs> you can definitely have enough money if you wasn't spending $500 on wigs, hair extensions. If you wasn't spending $100 on nail polish and foot polish. And you would have extra money if you wasn't spending thousands of dollars on BBLs and breast lifts and all the shit that women don't need. Some of you men too, because you have no confidence without money. If you ain't got chains dangling around your neck like a fucking slave, you wouldn't have any confidence, right? You actually look stupid to me, right? If you didn't have an, a fancy pair of J's or that car, the crazy part is I saw a dude trying to flex in his car with his chick with him and his car broke down at a red light. And I'm just like, 
<laughs> Boy, it was all good just five seconds ago. What is 50 Cent saying, Wankster? Um, something about you used to be the man. Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man. <laughs> you was the man, homie. Let me get your break deck message, man. Let me get out of here. Water sign. So, yeah, you definitely have someone. It feels like a love bomb. Like, they're deeply obsessed with you. I mean, take it how it resonates. You know your situation. Like, I know how to deal with people that try to love bomb me. I used to give this uh, this monologue. <laughs> I want you to go out and have experiences. <laughs> Especially when I was dealing with versions. Go out and have experiences and come back to me in a couple years. Go get some world experience. <laughs> you ain't about to love bomb me. <laughs> I like being love bombed, but not in a toxic, bad, obsessed way, right? You want to know what toxic uh, love bombing looks like? Look at, um, watch that movie Obsessed with Beyonce and Idris Elba. That white chick love bombed the hell out of that boy. Let's see. Page of Swords. So the person that's coming towards you, again, they're hoisting you up. They like you. They may even love you, right? Uh, They may even love you without even knowing that, they're loved, that they love you. This is like, a, again, a beautiful woman that afraid to admit that she's falling in love here it's like some sort of an insecurity thing right <laughs> i won't talk too much about it right but yeah that's what i have for you guys today hopefully you enjoyed the readings and my crazy rants right <laughs> so much going on in the readings today but i wanted to do something new for you guys so that you guys can actually hear me and um be reminded of my crazy personality right but anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.